In this Google Sheets video, I will show you how to embed an online image into your Google Sheet. Let's get started. So here I am in a spreadsheet, and I have clicked on the rows and dragged between any of the two rows to get the exact height that I would like for these cells. And I've done the same thing with the columns to make them as wide as I want them to be. And at this point, I would like to add images of each of the words that are here in the spreadsheet. Let's start with car. I'm gonna click on cell D2. It's completely blank, but I'll type equals, and I'm gonna use the image function. So I type in image, left parenthesis, and now I just need a URL or a link to an image of a car in this case. So I'm gonna to go to Google Images. This is one of the places you could go to get an image of this kind. And I'll just type in car, and maybe I want it to be a PNG so that it's more likely to have a clear background. And here's one. I'll go ahead and click on this one. Oftentimes you have to click on it again, and then sometimes yet again. But at this point, I have just the car. There's just an image of a car. I'll go up here to the URL, click on it. It highlights the entire URL. And now I'll copy it on a Windows computer. Control C will do a copy. On a Mac, Command C. And then I'm just gonna put in quotation marks and then paste in that long URL that I just copied. I'll put close quote at the end and my right parenthesis. I'll tap enter on the keyboard. And Google Sheets has now successfully embedded that blue car right into my spreadsheet. Now let's do another example because there are some subtle options that you may want to know about. And in this case, instead of going to Google to do my search, I want to show you another option. It's called Wikimedia Commons. And Wikimedia, one of the nice things about it is it has millions of freely usable media files. These are open content, Creative Commons licensed materials, so you can use them in your projects. So I'm gonna do a search there for bus, and I get some nice results. I'll just choose any one of these buses. How about this one? I click on it, and then I can click on its name again here, and on the image again, and now I have just the bus. I'll go up here and click on the URL. The entire thing is highlighted. Control C to copy, back in my spreadsheet, equals image, left parenthesis, quotation mark. I'll paste in that URL with Control V, or on a Mac, Command V, close quote, right parenthesis, tap enter, and there's my bus. So this is a really smooth way of grabbing an online image and embedding it into your spreadsheet. Now this time, I'm gonna go back to cell D3, and I'll go up here to the formula bar, and I'm gonna click after my URL and the close quote. And I'm gonna put in a comma. The reason why is because there are some subtle options that you may want to know about. In my first two examples, the images that were embedded, they kept their original aspect ratio. In other words, the images weren't warped or changed in any way, except to be small enough to fit within the cell size that I set. So if I expand this cell, notice what happens to the car it grows bigger to fill the space provided. I'm gonna tap escape and hit undo a few times, control Z, control Z, and I'll click back on D3 now. But there are times when you don't necessarily want the images to act in this way. So after the close quote, I'm gonna put in a comma again, and this time, instead of keeping the source image's aspect ratio, I want to ignore the original aspect ratio. So I've put a number two after the comma. That indicates just ignore the original aspect ratio of the image. I tap enter on the keyboard, and it's hard to tell, but this image has been stretched vertically to make it perfectly fit in the cell space provided. If I click and drag and expand the width of column D, that's where you'll really see the difference between those two formulas. My car isn't stretching until it's warped. It grew bigger, yes, but at some point that stopped because it would have to warp in order to get bigger. Meanwhile, the bus just keeps warping more and more as I stretch out this column. So that's the difference between adding the number two after the URL or just leaving it blank. Now there is a third option. If I click on my car in this case, 
and go back up to the formula bar, I can put in a comma after the URL in quotes, and then I can put a number three. So we know what leaving it blank did, we know what putting a two in there did, what will adding a three after the URL, what will that do? I'll tap enter on the keyboard, look what it did. It kept the image at its original image size, regardless of the space that's available in the cell. In most cases, this is not what you want to do. But there are situations, I'm sure, when it would be what you want to do. Now we do have one final option that's, again, kind of a subtle option. You may or may not ever need it, but it's good to know what it is and how to use it. So to do this, I've clicked again on D2, and I'll go up to the formula bar. After the close quote, I'll put in a comma and the number four. What option four does is it lets you, as the Google Sheets user, specify the exact image proportions that you want. So after the number four, I'll put a comma, and here I'm gonna specify first the height of my image. I want this image to be, let's say, 25 pixels high, and then I'll put in a comma, and I want it to be 110 pixels wide. Let's try that. I'll tap enter on the keyboard, and there's the result. Now, that doesn't look beautiful, it doesn't look perfect, but there are situations in which you will want to be very specific about the height and width of the images that you're using. So I'm gonna switch it to 50 height and 125 width, tap enter. That looks a lot better, I think. Now, just as a bonus, I want to show you that this image function works with the autofill handle just like most formulas do in Google Sheets. So if I click on D2, I can click on the fill handle, hold the click, and drag down the spreadsheet, release the mouse button, and we get that same image embedded all the way down. Thanks for watching this Google Sheets video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell, and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to join me as a channel member. You could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of being a channel supporter, I need to give a quick shout out to my super techie supporters. Thank you so much for the support that you give. It's because of you that I'm able to continue to make these videos in my evenings and weekends. Thank you.